With so many AI tools out there in 2025, is ChatGPT Plus really worth paying for? Here are five reasons that I pay for ChatGPT Plus and three reasons that you might wanna consider before you put any money into it. Now, reason number one is what really convinced me to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus, and this is one that I think really everybody is sleeping on, which is the memory feature in ChatGPT Plus. This is hands down one of the best features that you're gonna get with ChatGPT Plus. ChatGPT Plus remembers you. It learns your tone, your goals, your preferences, all the projects that you've been working on, it's all locked in. So you're not starting from step one every time that you start using ChatGPT. It's like having a personal AI assistant that evolves over time with you. Say you're building a business and you're writing a script. ChatGPT Plus will recall your branding, It'll understand your audience. It'll even understand your prompt style. Like for me, it knows that I hate its infinite use of hyphens, so it doesn't do it anymore. The free version of ChatGPT, well, it starts like brand new every time that you're using it. If you ever said to yourself, I wish ChatGPT would just remember what I told it before, then ChatGPT Plus is for you. Okay, so the next reason why I can't go back to just the normal ChatGPT is it's like ChatGPT on the old white snippy dust, which ultimately means it has a faster response time than just regular ChatGPT. ChatGPT Plus gets priority access to the fastest and latest AI models, which means less waiting and just more doing. On the free version, you're always using an older AI model that is just not as good. ChatGPT Plus is just faster, smoother and just doesn't have any of the lag and the wait times like you would see with the free version if you use an ai to work on content coding business stuff there's a lot of time to be saved with chat gpt plus if that time alone in a single month period saves you just one hour would paying that 20 dollars a month be worth it for you i mean i'm spoiled i can't go back to the free version i know what it's like on the other side and honestly, just seeing people use the free version, it cringes me because it's just so slow, I feel like. But speed is nothing if the output is not better, which brings me to reason three. ChatGPT Plus has access to the smartest and fastest GPTs. With ChatGPT Plus, you are using the latest GPTs available, meaning it's the most capable version of their AI. There are a lot of example videos of older, like 3.5 versus 4 uh, ChatGPT models. You can check those out, but there is a huge difference in prompting each one of these. The newest model is it's always better. Which brings me to reason four. ChatGPT Plus has browsing, file handling, and analysis capabilities. With ChatGPT Plus, your AI has access to the internet and the ability to read all the files that you provided. So with the paid version, you can access real-time websites, check live data, summarize PDFs, pull from spreadsheets, and even break down entire presentations. Versus the free version, you're pretty much just stuck in a bubble. Something that I do with ChatGPT is take my god awful YouTube stats, take images of them and put it in it to have it analyze and give me feedback. And it does a pretty good job. You can't do this function in the free version. If you're ever just struggling understanding data, again, this is where I find it extremely useful. And again, I'm understanding how bad my YouTube analytics really are. Which brings me to reason number five. It's one that honestly gives you the most control with ChatGPT, and I don't see anyone really on YouTube talking about it. And that is the ability to create custom GPTs. Instead of prompting the same way every time, you can build a custom GPT just once that understands the exact task that you've built it to perform. For me, I've built quite a few custom GPTs, but one of my favorites is my Lovable Prompt Pro. It knows the rules and capabilities of Lovable and writes perfect prompts every time. I don't have to think about anything. I just tell it what I need and it uses those rules and understands the best practices and gives me perfect prompts. If you use the same tools every day like I do Lovable, building a custom GPT turns it into a personal AI operator. Chat GPT Plus, how may I direct your call? It's like having a virtual assistant that understands the manual perfectly and never forgets the rules that you give it. So yeah, I feel just the custom GPTs, everyone's sleeping on them, they're really good. But even with all that, 
ChatGPT Plus is not for everyone, and here are three reasons you should really consider before you pay for it. Number one, if you're only using ChatGPT casually, you're not gonna miss any of the plus aspect of the features. Number two, if you can't find an ROI for ChatGPT Plus, meaning if you can't find $20 worth of value, it's probably not for you. And number three is if you don't have a need for the extra features, well then of course, why pay for them? So if you're serious about using AI to save time, build faster, or scale what's already working on ChatGPT, it's probably a no brainer to move over to ChatGPT Plus and just pay the $20. But if you're just using ChatGPT for quick help or occasional ideas and things like that, the free version is probably the right one for you. Let me know in the comments if you like ChatGPT, just the free version, or if you're more of a, a plus person like me. And if this video helped you at all, maybe think about liking it, subscribing, and things like that.